Really, I would like to just say I'm a human being and that's it. So I have all the qualities of a human being. I think I have a spiritual dimension, a physical dimension, and this connects with dance. Uh, I have a mental dimension. I feel like the location of what I, where I'm coming from, however you want to perceive that metaphorically, literally, is coming from a place of a search, a search into the past, um, or maybe a projection of the future of what I want that to sound or look like. My music always tells a story it's multi-layered. It might be saying one thing on the surface, but deep down it's saying something else. There are many different influences and I think one person might think it's one influence, but actually something's coming from another place. main intention is that I communicate to an audience so I'm very interested in audience engagement and I try to find the language which I find is which I think is quite universal and that um, on the first hearing as we don't often someone might not get a second performance um, but I'd like um, on the first hearing that the piece have an impact so uh, my music might be quite dramatic um, I think it's quite direct um, and clear. I had a really interesting childhood in that um, I was brought up by my aunt who was white East End woman and my uncle who you know was 100% Belizean but he was a very Victorian type of person so we brought up extremely strictly. It was my uncle who really instilled in us all uh, the love and I would say the fear of poetry, because from a very young age, we would have to come home after school and recite whole reams of Wordsworth and Longfellow. And also, it was, I think, his idea that we would have piano lessons. And so he, he, he would make us listen to Radio 4 and copy the accents, which is why I speak like this. Uh, so he would always... We were kept very, very busy with sort of the idea of improving, bettering yourself. My uncle also played the violin and the mandolin, and it was so important, as it, as it was for his generation, people in Belize, to be able to be, uh, to know about literature, to know about the arts, to know about music, classical music. And I think there's a sort of perception that people from the Commonwealth uh, so for instance, don't know, don't know about um, English literature. And my uncle, who wanted to be a writer, absolutely revered Shakespeare. So for him to be in England was to be, you know, with his literary heroes. Mm -hmm.